I'd like to introduce split tones and how to approach them, how to try to find them. Uh, split tones on the horn um, are a thing that is not as easily accessible as it is for trumpet players. I also play trumpet, split tones on the trumpet you can get to quite quickly. I would like to show you an approach to try to find a split tone. A split tone is when you are playing in between two partials on the instrument. And it is possible to actually um, find the position in between the overtone series where both partials are sounding. Uh, so here we go. What I'd like you to do is on the B-flat side of the horn, you're going to play our written C. And you're going to slowly slide down, slur down to the F, open B-flat horn. And you're going to do it very slowly to the point where it starts to flip down. I don't know if you heard that, but right before the lower um, F started to sound, there was a moment of instability. So to try to find that sweet spot where both partials are sounding at the same time, you bend your chops down slowly and look for that moment of instability and try to hang on to it. Yeah, I had it there for a while. It is a kind of a, in the, in the, while you're playing it, it is actually quite a physically active sensation. Your lips are searching for both things. It almost feels kind of percussive. And that is the beginning steps to learning where your split tones are. I highly recommend the uh, B-flat side of the horn, our written C to the low F, and just, just kind of take it down. Give yourself time. Don't freak out if it doesn't happen right away. Just try to find that moment of instability between the two partials of the, over, the, the overtone series right there, and just try to sit on it and find where you can stay in that place. So I'm suggesting using the partial interval between the hour written C and low F because the, it's a very wide space. So you can actually find the instability in between it easier. Um, after you feel like you've, you've kind of got a, your head around where that is, try it the next partial up. So now you're going to play again on the B-flat horn, our written F, and you're going to slide down to the C below it. The, uh, the instability point between these intervals, as they're tighter, is also um, it's more difficult to do slowly and to hold it, but keep trying. See if you can uh, can get that thing to roll. I got a good one. Once you've got that feeling in your lips and the memory, uh, the the uh, performance memory is more familiar to you, it will become easier to produce split tones um, on demand. We can talk more about that next time in our next tidbit for players.